And hello from the Strobel Allee. We find ourselves at the Signal Iduna Park. It's Borussia Dortmund against Bayern, a game of real residence here in Germany. Derek Ray here on the commentary gantry, and I'm joined by Stuart Robson. Stuart, what are you expecting today? Well, I'm expecting a really close game today. This is a rivalry that's been really good in recent times. Yes, Bayern have dominated, but on their day, Dortmund can outplay anybody, particularly in this wonderful arena. starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Manuel Akanji plays with Mats Hummels in central defence. Julian Brandt plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And so they start at 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Niklas Zule starts alongside Lucas Hernandez in central defence. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. An interesting match stands ahead of us. Dortmund kick off. He's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Hummers. Torgan Azar. It's with Guerrero. Brandt. Witzel but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. That is how to apply the pressure. Goretzka. And using his body to good effect. Daniel Malen. Still trying to get the shot off. A corner will ensue. <laughs> Royce taking this one. It's not a particularly good corner there. Corner fired in by Rice. Just the clearance that was called for. In with a chance. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And at the second time of asking, it's a goal. The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the heavens. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round.
Well, we'll see a Dortmund restart the match. Will that goal have the effect of stinging them into action? It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. to deal with the threat it's looking promising great reflex action from Neuer Guerrero with the corner. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Already closing him down here. Really good interception. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Muller gives it a go. Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. in position for Dortmund to be in and return to Azar fine cross into the middle but keeper's ball they'll be disappointed with that delivery sloppy in possession from Bayern Bellingham Had to put in a clean tackle. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. Alfonso Davies. Joshua Kimmich. And he's taken it away. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball and they look as though they want to make this move count but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Muller Leon Goretzka takes it on to keep concentration levels high. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. A 
second goal for them here. Brandt really getting stuck in Serge Gnabry and he likes to run at them the first half here comes to an end Well, you know, there's something wonderfully old-fashioned about Thomas Müller and his playing style, and he's certainly influential in this game, Stuart. Well, he's been a joy to watch so far. He's got so much ability, and it was also a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. Well, off and running again, and still reflecting on a spellbinding first-half performance from Bayern. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? Joshua Kimmich couldn't hang on to the ball he might be able to profit from the wide position Hazard opportunity for them to get back into the game Witzel could pull one back here and putting his body on the line. And a timely intervention. Bellingham! That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. And Dortmund will go to the bench. their opponents shot attempted well the keeper has outdone himself wonderful save still going here Sané Leroy Sané well fantastic reflex action Substitution it is for Dortmund. Who can they pick out? Still alive. A concession of a corner here. Who's going to get on the end of it? And mopping up defensively. Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. And Dortmund will go to the bench. Taking care of business defensively here. 
Well, those stats tell you everything. Bayern have enjoyed the majority of possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Very comfortable when in possession. And Bayern struggling to keep the ball. Sané. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Well, the attack looks promising. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Would have been a foul, but instead, advantage Bayern. Alfonso Davies. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. And giving the ball away. Possession lost, intercepted. It is going to be a Dortmund free kick. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story next time, no doubt. It's a substitution for Bayern. Well, no surprise to see him go for goal, but a routine save in the end. Hernandez Müller Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one It certainly wasn't a clean tackle And the referee has got to book him I think And a yellow card it's going to be Stuart Yeah the ref's got that right It's a yellow card all day long And Bayern will change personnel now could reduce the deficit and in it goes and you never know in this game they might yet be able to level it Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. The ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Plenty of options. Gnabry. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Five minutes left. Brandt. They have to be bold, Borussia Dortmund, in these circumstances. Well, possibilities in the centre. That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Let's see about the delivery. This could be the equaliser, but no, 
When your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. Trying to pick out a teammate. And did his job defensively. Both. Well, that is how to run up and just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. for a piece of tackling to break things up and there goes the final whistle and I'll tell you what that didn't go to plan for Borussia Dortmund at all in terms of the result they've lost this game what did you make of it? Well Derek it was a poor result but it was a really tight contest both sides had their chances could have gone either way but in the end they will be disappointed a performance you've got to conclude that he'll be proud of I'm talking of course about Thomas Müller well, he scored a good goal, and if I was his coach, I certainly wouldn't be worried by him missing a couple of chances. The fact is, he was a constant threat today.